Hello everyone, my name is Claudio Cortez and this video is about the classical pathway of the complement system. Of the three pathways of the complement system, the classical pathway is the newest to emerge in evolution. The classical pathway initiates when C1, an important complement component that is unique to the classical pathway, binds to the surface of pathogens. C1 will bind to pathogens indirectly by two mechanisms. The first mechanism requires antibodies to be bound to the surface of pathogens. This is what we call antibody-dependent recognition of danger. Since the classical pathway requires antibodies, which are produced by B cells, in order to start, the classical pathway is considered to be the link between the adaptive and the innate immunity. In this example, we can see that two immunoglobulins, two IgGs, are recognizing antigens on the cell surface of pathogens. When two IgGs are close enough, C1 will be able to bind to these antibodies and as a consequence, recognizing indirectly the pathogen. C1 can also recognize a single IgM bound to pathogens. The second mechanism is independent of antibodies, or also called antibody-independent recognition of danger. Here, CRP, or C-reactive protein, plays a fundamental role. CRP is considered an acute phase protein, which means that it's highly produced upon an inflammatory process that occurs, for instance, in bacterial infections and cardiovascular disease, where there is a tissue damage. CRP recognizes phosphocholine present on the surface of bacteria and also on the surface of apoptotic cells. CRP is also considered to be an opsonin, which means that CRP will tag pathogens for destructions by a process called phagocytosis. When CRP is bound to the cell surface, C1Q complex can also recognize it. As you can see here, one of the most important Take home message is that C1 complex it is required and is unique to the classical pathway. Without C1, the classical pathway cannot take place. C1 is an important protein that is unique to the classical pathway of the complement system. C1 is formed by three proteins C1Q, C1R, and C1S. C1Q, shown in blue, has two main regions. One is the collagenous tails that keep the characteristic structure of C1Q together and the globular heads that are able to recognize the FC regions of antibodies. C1Q can bind to different classes of immunoglobulins that binds with stronger affinity to IgM and Ig3. C1 complex has two molecules of C1R and two molecules of C1S that are bound to C1Q. These molecules are serine proteases that are essential in the process of activation of the classical pathway. When a single IgM or two IgGs recognize pathogens, C1Q will bind to the constant region of the antibodies or FC region. And as a consequence of this interaction, the proenzyme C1R will get activated. This serine protease will be able to cleave and activate C1S. Activated C1S will be able to do an important function. C1S will be able to cleave another component of the complement system called C4 will clip C4, generating C4A and C4B. When C4B is close enough to the cell surface, will bind covalently and attach to the surface of pathogen. This is what we call C4B deposition. C1S of the C1 complex can also cleave C2, generating C2A and C2B. If C2B is close enough, and bind C4B, 
it will generate a complex called C3 convertase or C4B, C2B. The C3 convertase will be able to cleave several molecules of C3 found in plasma, generating C3A and C3B. C3A is a potent chemoattractant molecule. If C3B is close enough to the cell surface, it will bind covalently. This process is called C3B deposition. The C3 convertase will cleave many molecules of C3 found in plasma, leading to a massive C3B deposition, which is also important in the process of opsonization. C3B has been shown that promotes phagocytosis, and therefore C3B is an opsonin. When the C3 convertase cleaves C3, some of the C3B can bind to this complex generating a new complex called C5 convertase or C4B, C2B, C3B. The C5 convertase will cleave C5 in order to generate C5B and C5A. C5A is an important chemoattractant and pro-inflammatory molecule that is reviewed in another video. C5B will be recognized by C6 and C7, forming a C5B67 complex. This complex binds to the membrane via C7. Then C8 binds to the complex and inserts into the cell membrane. Later on, many molecules of C9 binds to the complex and polymerize in order to form a pore. The complex C5B C9 it is also called Membrane Attack Complex, or MAC. MAC is inserted in the bilayer membrane of pathogens, causing lysis of pathogens, and in certain circumstances, MAC can lyse host cells, causing damage to the host. When finished watching this video, please help us to determine if this video was helpful for you by using the thumb up or down key. Thank you.